Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome to another FPV flight tutorial video. In this video, I want to talk about something that I call, I guess, a forward 360 spin. It's kind of a neat little move. It's not that amazing, but it's good to know how to do. So here we are in liftoff, um, pretty much everything just like how we've had it for this entire tutorial series. I'm using the Ladrib Skyliner stock with my rates. Here are my rates just for your information right there. That's what they look like. And we're using, uh, let's see, about 30 degrees of camera tilt right now. So let me show you what I mean by a 360 spin, a forward 360 spin. Basically, like it's a really simple thing. We're basically flying along here and then we kind of hop up a little bit and then we do like this neat little spin and then continue on our way and we can do a lot of different variations in terms of speed and and kind of which stick inputs we you know how much roll or how much yaw we want to do and that sort of thing and this is going to vary based on your camera tilt and your rates for your pitch and your roll now what's important to remember is that our quadcopter when we're flying forward it is actually tilted forward so we can't just use yaw and we can't you know just use roll so we have to do sort of both and that, that camera angle looks really weird like that it's it doesn't it doesn't really uh show it very well but let's switch back to the fpv uh view so what we want to do is kind of do a combination of both but we are going to use a bit more yaw especially to sort of speed up our spin um, like if we sort of need to do it really fast because we're close to the ground so um it's kind of it and i think this looks best close to the ground we're flying really close to the ground we hop up we do a spin and then we we land it and, and it looks really good if you can just really stick the landing um like i don't i don't know maybe we'll maybe we can demonstrate that here but you know you pop up you do a a coordinated kind of roll but more of a spin so more yaw than roll and give it a little bit of throttle so you don't really lose too much altitude depending on how you want it to look so like you can kind of see my throttle stick there and and you can always slow this down as well uh, if you click on the settings button if you're watching this on youtube and so I just think it looks really cool. Uh, you kind of hop up, you do a spin, and then you can sort of stick the stick the landing. Go basically the idea is to continue right back on where you were. And what's even more fun is you can do variations on that. So instead of just doing like sort of a flat spin where we're moving forward and then we kind of you know we like spin around and then we're going forward again, you could even do it where you're like popping up and then you kind of pitch down. So it's kind of it's almost like you hop up and then do like a roll spin thing and then and then go back to flying straight ahead so it's like we're flying like this we pop up we kind of do a roll almost like a um oh what do they call that is it called an aerial i think it's called an aerial it's like a it's not quite a flip or a roll it's like a little bit of both and it's it's also really cool if you can like say maybe we were on like a road let's find a road I don't know how far this road will go. Let's say we're on like a road and then we want to like, we want to do that and then come back onto the road. So that could look kind of cool. Is this a river? This is a river. Oh, it's a river. Ha! Huh, I thought it was a road. This could also be cool if you're flying along a fence line and you want to like pop up and then get on the other side of the fence. That's a, a neat way to transition. Um, it's almost like doing a roll, like a forward roll, but you kind of add some spin into that so it gives it it gives it a little twist gives it a little spice a little spice to it so there you go folks that is what i call a forward 360 twist i don't know what it's actually called uh so if you know let me know leave me a comment of what this should be called but uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, again just like all these tutorial tricks i'm not saying this is the way that you have to do it because i need to practice on it too but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were able to learn something from this. If you did, let me know. Leave me a comment. And thanks for watching. I will see you again very soon on the next FPV tutorial.